thank you so much to our panelists again for a really interesting discussion. We are really excited to have a special address from Dr. Mingzi Liu, who's the chief representative um, at the Representative Office for the Americas at the People's Bank of China. He's also a professor of finance at, at Tsinghua University. He'll be speaking about the role of emerging markets in re reinventing global value chains. So um, I'd like to welcome Dr. Mingzi Liu to the stage. It's okay. It's okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, thank you, uh, Professor uh, uh, Ludwig. Yeah, and thank you, uh, thank you very much for the Mr. Lin. Uh, I'm very happy uh, to stand here today to share my views on the re reinventing of the global value chain. And today's, uh, I know today we are discussing about the emerging markets. Uh, I, I think emerging means to be uh, full of hope with great potentials. And now I see many talented people and more emerging talent, talented people that uh, many, many young people here. So I'm very happy to uh, talk with you. Uh, now, uh, just now, uh, the moderators say I will talk about the global value chain. Actually, uh, there are three kinds of chains. One is, uh, one is we, we, we say uh, the value chain, but the more fundamental one is global industrial chain. And then is global supply chain. At last is global value chain. The supply chain and value chain are the uh, outcome of global industrial chain. At first, we produce, and then we supply to another, uh, another stage of production. And then when we produce, we, uh, uh, we, we, uh, we, we, we have, value added. So uh, global industrial chain is the foundation of global supply chain and in global value chain. And of course, uh, I want to clarify the three fundamental concepts. Um, the professor already raised uh, the task uh, giving me is talking about the train of the future of global value uh, chain. And then I, I don't want to talk too much details. Uh, I will talk about the chain of the global value chains directly. So uh, here are some trends I have watched. Um, some some trend has uh, have already happened. And for some trends will happen. Uh, based on my watching and on my uh, prediction. Um, and at first, uh, we, just now uh, I talked about the global industrial chain, chain uh, uh, the global industrial chains and global supply chains, global uh, value chains. These three kind of chains may coincide with each other geographically. But um, but uh, the data shows they're not the same uh, statistically. That means, you know, when some countries produce a lot of things, but the value uh, they have taken maybe not is so high. So uh, the, uh, the density of the distribution of global value chain uh, are not equal as the global supply chain and global industrial chain. This is the first thing I, I want to talk. And then we talk about the positions of different countries, different economies in global uh, industrial chain and in global value chains. Um, just uh, we, we know that uh, from the, the, the data uh, during the past times, uh, we have seen that the advanced economies 
uh, have taken a large share of value in in uh, over the global value chain, and emerging and developing countries uh, have produ produced a lot in uh, over the global industrial chain. So why the advanced economy can take a, a bigger, rel relatively a large share of the global value in uh, global value chain? Uh, that is because uh, advanced economies have advan advantages in technology. So advanced economies are good at high tech, high quality, and high price go goods and then service production and then supply. For the emerging markets, emerging markets are good at uh, mining, agriculture, and uh, manufacturing. So these, uh, well, these uh, kind of activities uh, consume a lot of raw materials, energy, and uh, labor force. So uh, we, we, we see uh, the, the cost uh, advanced economies and then uh, emerging and developing econom economies uh, have different positions over the global industrial chain and then uh, value chain. Now we are discuss about the trend. There are few trends. The first one is uh, the emerging markets position will rise. We, we have seen uh, during the past times, uh, you see, for the BRICS, the output of BRICS consists, uh, consists one third of the global GDP, but the contribution to the growth of the GDP uh, made up like one, uh, one half. So uh, the emerging markets give more contribution to the growth of the world GDP. That means in the future, the share of the emerging market in the GDP, in global GDP will rise. So um, we, we can see that the importance of emerging markets will rise in the future in global industrial chain and in global value chains. This is the, 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 the first one. The second one is that uh, the advanced economy uh, will still have advantages on high tech. Uh, we, we can see that uh, like United States, German, and then um, other advanced countries, they are very good at uh, like uh, IT, like uh, computer manufacturing. Um, advanced economies are good at uh, high technology and uh, advanced uh, equipment and uh, high tech products producing. At the same time, uh, some emerging markets are cutting up, uh, like China. You know, uh, you see at 2010, uh, the green, uh, the bar of green is the high tech related industry. Only like 30% of the total GDP. But at the 2020, that share become like 60%. Uh, percent. The, the products related with high tech, with uh, high tech, the share rise up very quickly. And then we see the future of Chinese uh, industry. We see the new energy, new technology, new infrastructure will become more popular in the future. And then the emerging market will cut up the advanced economies in high tech area to some extent. It's difficult for the emerging markets to cut up advance the economies completely. But this is a trend for the importance of emerging markets cut up. And then another trend is um, 
when uh, just now we see the global industrial chain and global value chain are distributed globally and in uh, the we have seen the evolving of such kind of chains the change of such kind of chains and then later the evolve the the change will be uh, uh happen uh, will be happen uh, maybe more quickly in in the uh, future and in the the evolving of the global industrial supply and then value chain uh, is coincide with the regional integration um you know uh, I, I think today we uh, other panelists have talked about uh, the impact of global pandemic on the supply chain some disruption of the supply chain and of course on the value chain and um, after the pandemic the global supply chain industrial chain supply chain and value chain will uh, respond to the sort kind of disruptions and the global uh, industrial chain will distribute regionally at first and then globally the secondly so uh, the 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 trend of the evolving of global value chain uh, will show uh, the trend of regionalization more regionalization uh, and then more globalization at first regionalization and then second globalization and then another trend is the digitalization and then uh, transforming into green development uh, just now as uh, the panelists discussed about is the potential using of digital currency now we are in uh, entering into digital time so digitalization will be the trend of the future evolving of the global supply chain and then value chain um, the digitalization uh, using of uh, AI and um, current transformation will be the new uh, characteristics of the evolving of global supply chain, uh, global uh, industrial chain, supply chain, and um, value chains. So that what I have seen uh, the future of the global value chain and then the, the uh, advanced economy we will still have advantages in catching the value but uh, emerging markets now are catching up and then and then there there will be more regionalization that means uh, in north america in asia uh, latin america latin america and uh, africa uh, the economy will be more uh, regionalized. The regionalization will be uh, the form just like this one. So uh, the regionalization will be new form of the globalization. And then at last, um, the, uh, the evolving of the trend, uh, uh, the evolving of the global value chain uh, we'll be together with uh, the using of IT technology and then with the, uh, we'll coincide with the process of green transformation. And then, uh, uh, thank you, thank you very much for your great patience.